Hey everybody, this is Grace, and in this video, I'm going to talk about something that truly frustrates me. <laughs> that is about herd mentality. Okay, now with the way I, uh, when I studied sociology, working, you know, my degrees, herd mentality was more mentioned like, um, say you say somebody's going, somebody's, you know, you're somewhere, and a protest breaks out, or you went with somebody, and the protest brought up, you know, for a protest. And even though you're not for that cause, you develop the same kind of feelings that the, the rest of the herd <laughs> has. It's a herd mentality. They all start to, you know, everybody starts to go together and, um, you know, rally or whatever or protest. So you see what I'm saying. Okay, and it can also mean like when, uh, say, people gang up on somebody, you know, the, like you're at work or something and somebody doesn't like what you say and then the rest of them you know the flying monkeys and stuff especially if it's like that person's more narcissistic says something to you then everybody else is going to be angry at you you know it's it's a herd that's the herd then that, that's not used that often in that kind of situation but that could be one kind of situation for me these days though it's more of this that really gets to me <laughs> it really does okay and it is when I see it these days is when I'm doing a video in a store. Now, of course, you know, some people say you shouldn't be doing videos in stores or in something along that line, but let's, let's move past that. I'm doing a video in a store and there is somebody, and it always happens, that sees that I'm doing it and then follows me around. It's like they want to video bomb me, you know, like photo bomb, but they will follow me around. Seriously. It's like, really now? <laughs> And I, just the other day it happened to me, and uh, I was live streaming. I think it was my first live stream, or my, maybe my second one, at um, Dollar Tree, I think. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And I even went to the other side of the store to get away from this person. And no matter where I went, there she was. Yeah, she, would fo she was following me around. And it, that's frustrating. And this one, there was, an there was another woman. <laughs> Could have been the same woman for that matter. But she, yeah, maybe there's other people trying to do it, but she didn't have her camera. Anyway, of course not. But uh, yeah, that that is something, that is, it's kind of like they want to be, I know there's another word for it too, but they want to be around other people. They really want to be snuggling practically. And some would say, yeah, watch your purse, which I do. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. People who have to have something right in front of your face in the stores, I'd watch that, seriously. I don't want anybody to be paranoid about it, but yeah. They want to get that close, especially if it's a couple, and one gets on one side of you and the other gets on the other side, and your purse is right there next to you. Yeah. You hear that suspicious voice, the sound of my voice, but that's, yeah, that's happened to me, and I got really suspicious about it. Okay, and you know what, I, sometimes I really do think, sometimes I really feel, is that this person, the person who's doing that is lonely. Seriously, is they're lonely. They may have moved here, and this, this is a lonely place to me. To me, it is. It's, it's very difficult to make friends. Um, if you're a woman and you want, you know, you prefer to have women f friends, you know, you have a husband, boyfriend, whatever. But even so, if you um, try to make friends with women, they might insinuate that you're lesbian or bisexual. That doesn't matter, you know, really should not matter. Um, I'm straight myself, but, you know, there, and it's... To some people are precious. That's not somebody you want to have in your life in the first place. You know, you wouldn't want to. But some people do have, you know, this feeling. Beyond that, too, is beyond that, I said, beyond that, is that um, you're wanting something from them. You know, so it's hard for people to make friends here. Believe me, I know. And um, you know, your friends are going to be some pe somebody who's living in another, you know, somebody you grew up with or something like this because making friends here is difficult. So I say that. I, I feel that when I'm in stores and I'm walking around and somebody is constantly following me, following me or they're somewhere near me. You know, it's whatever the person gives off, you know, their kind of behavior. And I know, I remember the first time that I got really weirded out at a Dollar Tree. It wasn't in this area, but I was at a Dollar Tree and one I had never been to, I think, before. It was kind of out from here. And these two elderly women, I'm not, I sh maybe I shouldn't say elderly, maybe they were, huh, I don't even know where, where the age of elder 
comes in, but said they were well enough past retirement age. But um, anyway, they, they it was kind of like I, I really felt like I was being ganged up on by these women. I just bought a new purse, too. So it was about three years ago. That I, because I remember the purse that I bought. I had bought purchased a few purses that, that Christmas. And it was one of them. It was a nice purse. and it, But it was basically felt too old, for, too, too much for a more mature woman than I. Like I should put it that way. Um, so I, I was using it, and these, these two older women were following me around, and they kept looking at my, you know, they were, they kept looking at my purse, but they were coming from, like, different directions, not both of them there at the same time, and it wasn't like that they were um, trying, they weren't showing that they were together, you know, they're at the store together, but every time I turned around, one or the other one would be somewhere near me, yeah, and I remember I did a video on it, and other people said the same thing, that, yeah, they were after your purse, or they were after your money or something and that they, they probably do it for a living maybe other people have had that experience you know that's what feeling I got that going into Dollar Tree might not always be safe any store really when you think about it okay so anyway that kind of thing can be on your mind what is it is it somebody trying to steal from you somebody trying to get your purse your your cell phone in your purse I always have mine in my hand but yeah it's usually because I'm doing videos <laughs> but yeah are they trying to get your wallet it's something you know, whatever it is, you're in the store to shop. You're not in the store to have to deal with all this kind of stuff, you know? Um, it just takes the away from it. That feeling of, hey, I'm out shopping. I shouldn't have to be worried about everything around me because we do hear it enough. Plus, I'm Texan. In Texas, although this isn't going to show the view that you're seeing, <laughs> we're used to wide open spaces, you know? People give one another literally their space. Our little comfort zone of space around us is bigger than in other places I've lived in. I've lived in places other than Texas. I was born and raised here in Texas. I've lived in other states, other cities, towns, suburbs, you got it. But, um, yeah, we tend to give people, you know, our people more of a comfort zone, more of theirs, more of ours, you know. We don't like somebody right on top of us. But I see that too much lately. People right on top of you. There was like one video I did on a store that it happened to me ten times that you're shopping and you're standing right there reaching for a product and somebody, they, they, they have to get in front of you. Nope, they have to be first. The whole store, but they need something right in front of your nose. <laughs> it happened to me ten times in one store. Like I said, one day, one, oh my goodness. Yeah. So that brings me back to this uh, herd mentality kind of thing in shopping. Like, you know, it's, it's in the way it could be like this. You're buying something, you're, per, you know, you're looking at the, you know, the whatever it is, and you're picking it out, like you're going to look at it, and you decide that you want it, and somebody all of a sudden comes up and they want it too. That, that That's a little bit of a herd mentality, you know? There's going to be something more than that too. <laughs> it could be a lot of things. But you see what I'm saying? And especially if you're somewhere and people start gathering around you, you know? Uh, yeah, I've had that happen. I've had a lot of things happen. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to go in there to Michael's. I don't know if I'm going to, oh, by the way, one of the things I was going to say is I don't know if I want to live stream anymore after my experience this time. The last two times, well, maybe not the last two times, but I tried to do live streams. This this kind of thing happened to me. Somebody's going to be right there. And I, I said that already. But, but they have to be right there. And it's extremely frustrating because... I don't want to video anybody up close, especially if they have kids. I'm not going to video, I'm, you know, try not to ever video a kid. So I have to go around and the other way around and stuff like that. Now, if I'm not live streaming, it's easier, as you can imagine, you know. But yeah, this time, this time wasn't as irritating as the time that I was thinking of, I already mentioned. Just being followed, somebody wanting to be right there. And I don't know the person, you know. I'm wrapping this up. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click on the rectangles. And I'm going to go to Michael's and see what they have there. And anyway, I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.